Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss about security zone and deployment modes of Palo Alto Networks Firewall. We will discuss what is security zone, deployment modes of Palo Alto Networks Firewall. Security zones are a logical way to group physical and virtual interfaces on the firewall. So let's try to understand. This is my firewall. Here I am having ISP connection. Here I am having my DMZ zone in which I am having multiple servers. And I have two more interfaces on which I am having my LAN users. So security zones are nothing but a logical way to segregate your interfaces. I can say yeah this particular interface is belongs to ISP I don't need to be remember the interface name this particular interface is uh, belongs to the DMG this particular interface is belongs to the LAN and this particular interface is also belongs to the LAN this is security zone okay a Palo Alto networks interface can be a part of maximum one security zones so on a particular interface we can't assign additional zone like I can't define LAN zone because I already assigned the DMZ zone I can't assign any different zone alright however you may have multiple interfaces in one security zone like I'm having a security zone called LAN I'm having this interface and I'm having another interface in the same zone so I can have multiple interfaces in the same zone but I can't assign two zones on a interface alright traffic from the multiple interfaces in the same security zone is allowed by default the traffic between the same security zones like the traffic from this particular interface to this particular inter interface and both are in the same zone is going to be allowed alright Traffic from the different security zone is blocked by default. Like the traffic from like from LAN to DMG or DMG to ISP is going to be blocked by default. Alright. Now understand the security zone in the more deeper way. Like I have few uh, security zones like DMG, GUST, Users, Data Center and Internet. Alright. And this is my Palo Alto Networks Firewall. If you notice like in users and the data center, I'm having two interfaces like this one and this one and in the data center, I'm having these two interfaces. So the traffic between same zones are going to be allowed, right? In user zone, I'm having two interfaces, but the traffic is going to be allowed by default. This is because like the behavior of the Palo Alto Networks firewall and the traffic between the different zone like in from the data center to internet or from internet to data center is going to be block by default so we need to be understand like how the firewall is going to be allow the traffic of the same zone and blocking the traffic of different zone this is because of the two default rules the first rule is intra zone default and the another one is Inter zone default and also the action of this particular uh, rule is allow and action of this particular rule is deny I hope you got my point till now now see the traffic from the same zone like from this interface to this interface is going to be allowed because of this rule and the traffic between two different zone like from data center to internet or vice versa maybe from DMG to internet or internet to DMG is going to be blocked because of this rule however we can modify both of the rules we can modify them but yes this is the default behavior of the Palo Alto Networks firewall all right now we will discuss deployment modes or interface types of Palo Alto Networks firewall we have tap mode vWire mode layer 2 mode and layer 3 mode alright 
let's understand about the tap mode i'm having my uh, my network running uh, with the traditional firewall like cisco asa and here are my switches and here are my lan or the users segment so all the traffic are going through this firewall i'm having no issue at all but i don't have any visibility to the application and the threads or url categories that is going to be accessed from my network right because the cisco asa going to be allow your traffic based on the service like you are going to be allow tcp 443 but you don't have any idea what all other things are running what all application are running under this particular service so you can deploy a palo alto network firewall in tap mode in tap mode you just need to be deployed the palo alto network firewall like this we have new palo alto network firewall there we have configured this particular port as a span port or mirror port it's up to you what you called but this is a special interface in which switch can forward all the traffic that is going to be received on different interface and that is going to be sent over different interface so if you configure a span port or mirror port on the switch you can send all the traffic to the palo alto network firewall and the palo alto network firewall can run their mechanism to find out the applications threads and even even the even the users information like particular traffic is going to be initiated by particular user so we will get the app id content id user id all right now now what's happen like you are doing a poc in a, in a such environment where cisco ac is running you can you can run the firewall in the tap mode if i am not wrong we will require 7 to 10 days of traffic to find out all the application and the threat that are present on the particular network or traversing through the network so suppose you have deployed this particular firewall for 7 days then you need to be a uh, jernet core dump file you need uh, you just need to be log in to the firewall go to the support option and you just need to be jernet the core dump file and after generating core dump file you just need to be upload it on the support portal and it will give a report that you can showcase to the customer like what are applications are there what are threats are there and multiple things you can just provide it to the customer and you can showcase the features of the palo alto networks firewall right now coming to the vwire mode let's suppose you are having the same environment your lan segment your switches and then your uh, traditional uh, firewall let's suppose cisco asa now let's suppose you need to be you need to be control the traffic and run the particular checks like to identify the application even even you need to be uh, perform the some actions like ssl decryption and you don't want to be replace your cisco asa firewalls then in this particular environment you need to be deploy your firewall in vwire mode so you can deploy the palo alto inline and here you can use the app id content id user id all these feature including ssl decryption and as we discussed you can control all the traffic using the security policies since we don't have any ip addresses in this uh, particular interfaces you can't perform the net or the or the any kind of vpn all right i hope you got my point and in the later videos we are going to be perform the lab for this particular scenario now coming to layer 2 deployment in this particular deployment we can configure the palo alto networks firewall in layer 2 let's suppose i'm having two servers this is my web server and let's suppose this is my database server both are in the same zone and both are having same range ip address 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.2 so the ip is 1.1.1 and 1.2 if they are connected to the switch you don't have any visibility what they are accessing and the what the traffic flow is there between both the both the 
particular servers. But if you deploy the Palo Alto Networks firewall in layer 2, you can isolate the firewall at layer 2. You can, you can let's suppose, create a policy if the traffic is going, uh, coming from this to this or from this to this, you can just tell us like what all application you need to be allow what everything you need to want on this particular segment so you can control the traffic you can view particular application that is uh, that is going to be accessed by these servers so the traffic at the layer 2 you can you can isolate using the layer 2 deployment of the Palo Alto Networks firewall you will get the same features like app id content id user id even if you are just monitoring the traffic between the this particular server to this server all right and you can also perform the ssl decryption if you want to suppose like perform the routing for these interfaces like this layer 2 interface this layer 2 interface you can create a vlan and assign it to the virtual router and then you can also use the same virtual router to forward the older traffic to the isp so in this way you can configure your switches at the uh, I mean the, the interfaces in the like a switch and you can inspect the traffic that is traversing through it. So yeah, this is the beauty of Palo Alto Networks Firewall. This is something we already discussed. We can route the traffic using the VLAN interface. Alright, now let's move to the layer 3 deployment. This is very famous deployment of Palo Alto Networks Firewall. So here we don't have such firewalls like uh, uh, the Cisco ACO or anything. We will we are going to be replace them with Palo Alto Networks firewall. Or if, in case it is the fresh setup, then yeah, we don't even need to migrate it. We just need to be deploy it. And here what's happening? Like you need to be understand how it is working. In the previous mode, even layer two mode, V wire mode, and the tap mode, we can't assign the IP addresses on the firewall but in layer 3 mode we can assign the ip addresses on the interfaces like you will have the ip addresses here you can assign the ip addresses all these interfaces uh, that is the part of the data plane and you can what you can perform you can achieve like you can use app id content id user id that is and the ssl decryption that is similar to the uh, vwire or uh, layer 2 deployment but additionally you can perform the routing it could be the static routing or your dynamic routing and you can run the VPN as well so you can you can configure the SSL VPN that is global product you can use IPsec and the GRE so yeah the layer 3 deployment is the very famous deployment and the maximum customer are running this particular uh, setup where I have worked yeah but yes we have also deployed the layer 2 and the uh, vwire mode as well in the coming video i will going to be uh, create the lab for all these and i will demonstrate everything to you starting from the tap mode then vwire then layer 2 and then we will start our practicals of the layer 3 deployment and once the Palo Alto networks firewall is series we uh, series will completes i will i will start recording the lecture for the panorama and migration as well i did the migration for the several vendor like cisco AFC, checkpoint and the fortigate so yes i'm going to be show you all these videos on youtube so stay tuned i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestion feel free to reach out to me over the website or the youtube comments thank you